if you are starting out forex and you cannot invest money into the vps here is i am showing you how you can get a free vps for three months okay once you create a gmail account then you have to search a google cloud open the google cloud website then you will go to the console so if they are asking for you to create an account you will create an account here and you will put your credit card details once you do that you will come here and you will go go to compute engine okay and then you will click on the virtual instance so when you do that you will click enable it's taking some time so you just have to wait for it okay then then you will go again to the compute engine and then you will come here to vm instances okay once you click on this now you will click on create instance okay you can put a name here okay then you have to select the area which area you want i want another land here so i did that then you don't have to do anything here you can also do that but i would suggest to go with this e21 then you come here on the left side change the operating system okay windows server okay especially here you don't have to select the data code this one is a data code so you don't have to select that so i am selecting windows server 2025 data center and you don't have to do anything else here you can reduce the increase the size of the hard disk you don't need that i just leave it like that and i say select so it will cost you a 126 dollar per month but you don't have to worry about this because once you create a google cloud account it give you a 300 dollar credit and before my credit finish i will turn off the billing and so you are done and go now you will wait for some time and google will give you a high speed vps that you need okay now your vps is created what you will do next is set a password okay you will click here and this is your username and you will say set so this is your password you have to make sure you save this password somewhere okay then i will close it then you will download the rdp you will click here and download the rdp file once you do that see your rdp file is downloaded here in your computer okay this is your rdp file you will double click on it okay so here it is asking for your password and you will paste the password here and you say connect uh, this is the first time we are logging the vp your vps is ready now